On May 11, 1998, India tested three nuclear devices in its Pokhran desert. These tests were followed by two more tests on May 13. Operation Shakti, as the tests were collectively known, comprised of one fusion device and two fission devices on May 11, and a sub-kiloton fission prototype and a uranium-233 assembly two days later. It was rumored that a third round of tests was planned, but abandoned. These were not India's first nuclear tests. India gate crashed into the nuclear club on May 18, 1974, when its scientists conducted a 12 kT peaceful nuclear explosion in the same desert. Although the exact composition of India's nuclear arsenal is classified, foreign nuclear non-proliferation watchdogs estimate the size to be between 100 and 120 warheads. Since these tests, scientists have admitted that the yield of some of these tests was initially slightly exaggerated and that the thermonuclear device was a fizzle. In case of nuclear war, India will rely primarily on its missiles to deliver their warheads to their designated targets. The missiles have ranged from short-range Prithvi 350 km to the Agni 5000 km. India also maintains nuclear-capable fighter jets such as the Sukhoi 30 MKI, MIG-29, Mirage 2000H and Sepekar Jaguar. To ensure second strike capability, India has also been developing a submarine-based nuclear deterrent. To this end, INS Arihant will be the first of its nuclear missile boats to set sail shortly. It will initially be armed with the 700km range K-15 SLBM, which may be upgraded to the 3000km range K-4. All land and air attack nuclear forces come under the Strategic Forces Command which is a part of the Nuclear Command Authority. India will not use its nuclear weapons unless an enemy uses weapons of mass destruction, be they biological, chemical or nuclear, upon it first. This is called the No First Use Policy, which India hopes will enhance nuclear stability in the region and not give our adversaries a reason to escalate things.